So I am doing theme Thursday on Friday. I tried to get it in yesterday, but um, I've got a team meeting coming up this uh, Saturday, tomorrow, and I uh, had Lee come over and we were practicing some music yesterday and then went out to get some lunch and one thing led to another and I wasn't able to get to the video. So we're doing it today. And I'm going to change Laurel and get her ready. And then I have a couple more babies for you to see. So let's get started. I'm going to put this sweet little Will Beth outfit on her that's white and has uh, butterflies on it and some different colored flowers in blue and yellow. And it's trimmed in pink. It's uh, like a crossover and ties here with a pink bow. And it's got these cute little pantaloons underneath it. And uh, so that's what we're going to put on her today. And with these sweet little Sarah Louise pink booties. So how is everybody? I hope you're all doing well. I have my last play tonight. No, I have a play tonight and then team meeting tomorrow. And then my last play is tomorrow night. Hi, Laurel. Hello, my little angel. So almost done with that. But I have a little story to tell you guys. I do, I do, I do. Um, I was um, painting on a doll. I'm working on a doll right now that I've been working on for a while, but you know, it's hit and miss with me. So um, anyway, I was painting on her the other day. I think this was Saturday. Yeah, it was Saturday. And um, my husband was working outside. Well, I hear him open the door and he says, Holly, come here a minute. And I said, okay, let me finish this one thing. I'll be right there. So um, I went outside and he's standing out there with a little baby bird in his hand. Mm -hmm. And I said, where in the world did you get that? And he said, it was in the garage on my uh, laundry rack. And it was just sitting up there, and he said, I walked over to it, and it didn't fly away, and he said, I picked it up, and here it is. <laughs> so Goodness, girl. Get your hair. So, anyway, it was um, a little baby mockingbird fledgling. And um, so I thought, well, what are we going to do? You know, we have cats roaming around here, and I was didn't want it to get hurt uh, by a cat. So um, I, we looked out in the yard, and there was a mockingbird sitting on the stop sign right at the corner of our yard. So I said, well, let's go put it in that tree in our neighbor's yard that was close to the stop sign. Maybe. He'll chirp and the mommy will hear it. So uh, we did that. Went over and put him on a tree branch. So we left, you know, across the street again and sat there and waited and waited and waited. And lo and behold, the bird that was sitting on the stop sign flew away. Didn't even hang around. And I'm like, okay, it was windy. And I thought, you know, I don't know if he's even able to hang on up there. So I got worried, so I went back and got him. And uh, I told my husband, I said, if he's a fledgling, no telling how long he was in that garage, he's probably hungry because they still eat, you know, fairly often, like about every 30 minutes or so. So we, I said, let's find him a worm. So my husband goes and he's looking, looking, he's digging in the ground. I told him to beat on the ground. They, you know, like sometimes will come up to the surface. Nothing. He couldn't find any worms. So I decided to take him over to my daughter's house and because she, she has tons of worms because she feeds them to her chickens all the time. So we take the little bird 
in the car, called my daughter. She said, yeah, we'll find him some. And so took a car ride over there and um, he was sitting in my hands and lo and behold, I was, you know, kind of stroking his little head and everything and he laid his little beak down on my finger and just went to sleep. Cute, cute, cute. So we got there, we, she had a worm. We tried to feed it to him, but he wasn't interested. He wouldn't open his mouth, and nothing. And so, uh, you know, I, my husband asked Courtney, he says, do you have a syringe? She said, yeah. So she went and got him a syringe, and we put the worm in. I know that sounds gross. <laughs> We thank the word for his, I mean, we thank the worm for his sacrifice. And uh, we tried to feed the worm to him through a syringe. Well, he still didn't want to take anything. He wouldn't open his mouth. So we decided to put a little water in with it, kind of juice it up a little bit. Uh, and uh, kind of make a worm frappuccino. <laughs> anyway, we did that and he got a tiny bit of the warm water in him, but you know, not really still what needing. So, um, we brought him back home and I looked up on YouTube. Of course, we love YouTube, don't we, for information. Looked up on YouTube to see how you take care of a little fledgling mockingbird. And uh, they suggested that you t get some cat food and put boiling water on it, you know, and let it soften up. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that so sweet, girl? Isn't that so sweet? I mm like -hmm. little feeties. And um, so, uh, of course, I don't have a cat, so I went across the street to our neighbors, and uh, so she gave me some cat food, came back, and I fixed it up like it said, and we got it kind of mushy, and still wasn't interested at one point I got some tweezers and I was able to kind of pry his mouth open and I did get a piece in there but he just really wasn't interested so my husband we had a small box and my husband made a little makeshift nest for it in there and put it in the box and kind of put the flaps of the box kind of over like that not closed but just you know kind of like leaning over and uh, so we thought well we'll see you know how he does and a few minutes later we're sitting in the living room happened to look up and that my dog of course Noelle she is just she would have been such a good mother she was interested in the baby bird and we showed it to her and she sniffed it and then she gave it a kiss and then she made it her mission to watch over him so we're sitting there and all of a sudden Noelle is just jumping up and down and we look up and the baby is sitting on top of the box <laughs> the baby bird got out of the box and was sitting on the top of the flap and we're like oh good you know well you know because I was worried about him being dehydrated or starving and all this so he said well obviously we can't keep him in the box well um, Georgia our parrot has a cage outside in the courtyard that we take her outside and let her sit in there in that outside excuse me so we decided to take him out and put him in that cage and hopefully through the night his parents will hear him and come and you know check him out whatever so uh we did we put him in the cage but again made his little nest in there and we put him down in the cage and i put that a little dish of that mushy cat food in there. Yeah. Now she's already, she's already for her theme Thursday in white. And there's her white rabbit. Her little white bunny. She loves that bunny. And she loves her guess how much I love you bunny from her Auntie Suzanne. So, yeah. So we put him out there. And, uh, Left him all night. So I got up the next morning and my uh, Noel, my, my Labrador, started jumping up and down, prancing and jumping. And I thought, man, she really has to go to the bathroom. 
So I opened the door. She didn't go to the bathroom. She ran straight to that cage. She was so worried about that little bird. And um, I went over there to check on it. And there were two adult mockingbirds sitting on the fence right by the cage. And they were going nuts. And uh, I mean, they were just squawking and Oh, just making all kinds of racket. And I went over to the cage and I looked down the nest and the baby bird wasn't there. I looked all over the bottom of the cage. It wasn't there. And I just I happened to look up. It's a huge cage, by the way. And there on the top branch sat that little bird. <laughs> so, uh, of course, the parents have flown off the fence when I walked over, but they flew right up on my roof, which is just right there. And they're still just carrying on like crazy. And I said, well, I'm getting him out. Hang on, hang on. So I took him out of the cage and I put him up on the fence and uh, he fluttered down on the other side of the fence and uh, the parents fluttered down or, you know, swooped down with him. So I thought, good, I'm just going to let nature take its course and I let it go from there. Uh, we haven't seen him since. The mockingbirds quit fussing at us. And so um, I'm assuming, I'm hoping that maybe when he fluttered down, he jumped up into the um, azalea bush that was sitting right there because it's, you know, um, he could get up in those little branches and maybe his parents kept feeding him until he could uh, fly a little better. So anyway, that's the story of our little mockingbird. And also, uh, last uh, week before last, we saw that our bluebird box was being inhabited and looked in and there were five little bluebird eggs in there. Now, I didn't get a picture of the bluebird eggs, but my daughter and I went out the other day and checked and see how they were doing. And we now have five little baby bluebirds in there. So I'll show you that picture. Okay, so that is Laurel all ready for theme Thursday on a Friday in her pretty little white um, outfit. And now I've got a few more babies to see, so let's go. Now look at these two little silly billies. Here we got, let's see if I can get around here, Johanna. And Johanna's got her little hair and ponytails today. Isn't she sweet? And she's doing white. She has on a white shirt with her Oshkosh Bagosh um, overall dress that has a white skirt that's got butterflies, pink and blue butterflies on pink and blue flowers. And she is having fun riding over here her little zebra with her brother Aiden. <laughs> Aiden. Aiden's doing white. <laughs> He still has on his Easter outfit that's got bunny rabbits on it. So he wanted to wear the bunny rabbit hat because it was white. It went with this week's theme of white. So he's wearing this silly, look at this silly hat. Honey, aren't you hot in that thing? Aren't you hot? <laughs> and he's out here riding his little train. And these two are having a grand time. These three are smart and playing in the shade. And we've got Sophie here and she's doing white. And she wanted to put in her little daisy hair clips for her Auntie Suzanne or her mommy Suzanne. And she's laughing, having fun. She has a white unicorn. So she's doing white and unicorns, don't you Sophie? Yes, she is. And she is sitting here with her sister, Kennedy. And Kennedy is doing unicorns. And she's got a big, pretty rainbow unicorn right here. And she has unicorns on her dress with rainbows on it. And her dress is white, so I guess she's kind of doing both. Big purple bows in her hair. And then we have little Natalie. And Natalie looks a little put out. Why are you put out, huh? Why are you put out, Natalie? Oh, because she's got a llama corn. <laughs> yeah, it's a matter. It's all right. It's OK. 
Hey, she's wearing a pretty white dress from Easter, and she has a pink llama corn. It's almost a unicorn. I think she's put out because her sisters both have real unicorns, and she has a llama corn. <laughs> it's all right, Natalie. It still works. Here are a few of my beautiful girls outside on the swing, and they're all doing white. Presley is my one little cheater because she had this dress on for Easter. But it is a beautiful white, white dress with a little cupcake on it and her little white sandals. And she's chatting here with her sister, Caitlin. And Caitlin's put it all in white and she has this eyelet lace on the bottom of her dress. So she's wearing her eyeless eyelet lace little shoes. You can see that there. And a beautiful white bonnet. And then this Ellen is wearing, also wearing a white bonnet and a beautiful white dress with some little pink um, flowers on it, a little pink bow. And her darling little white Mary Janes. And then we have Miss Madeline. She's also white wearing white dress with smocking at the top with pink flowers and a big white bow in her hair. But she also, but she's wearing pink shoes to go with the pink in her dress. And those two are watching our little baby or the mama bluebird feeding her babies. So that is uh, for the toddlers all doing white. And here is my sweet little Kaylee and Kelly. Kelly is doing white. He just has on a little white onesie with a little uh, white ruffle co collar and uh, has a little bits of blue on it, but he's mostly in white, blue and white. And Kaylee is doing unicorns. What you do to your hair, baby? There you go. Got her hair all ticking up. And she's doing unicorns, and it says, believe in magic. And she's got all kinds of unicorns and crowns and hearts, and stars and wands all over her cute little white dress with unicorns. Here's my beautiful little Julia. And Julia's doing all white as well. She's got some pink going on there. Her pretty little white booties and her white dress trimmed with pink, smocking, and then her beautiful little bonnet. It's also got little pink flowers on it. And she's uh, laying on a blanket that would have gone good with last week's theme with the pink and gray. <laughs> but there is my darling, Julia. Next is my precious little Alice. And Alice has on her white dress today as well. It's more like a gown, almost like a christening gown. It's very long. This is a newborn size. So I don't know if it was intended for a um, pass around gown or what, but anyway, she's wearing her little white uh, gown with little bitty um, blue and yellow and pink um, flowers on her little smocking across the top and wearing a pretty little pink flower in her hair. And she said, hi, Oliver. Hi, Alice. That's my little Alice. And last but certainly not least is my little China doll, my sweet little Sarah Elizabeth. And she is doing white and unicorns. And it says, make your own magic. She's got a pretty unicorn shirt on with um, rainbow colored multi-layer Tutu and some little sneakers. Man, that makes your foot look big, doesn't it? She wearing little sneakers to go with it. And that is my sweet little darling Sierra. And uh, so that is our theme Thursday. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all. Thanks for listening. Chatter on. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.